Medical Sergeant John Denny, and it is my honor to be your MC for today's ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the arrival of the official party and remain standing for the playing of the national anthem. Room to touch. Gentlemen, please be seated. Room for a pass. Good morning. On behalf of the 338 Training Squadron Commander, Lieutenant Colonel Daniel Gottridge, welcome to the RF Transmission Systems Apprentice Level Graduation. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to attend today's ceremony. We will now have a few words from the Director of Operations, Major Black. Class, that's it. Welcome to this fine graduation, friends and family. Thanks so much for coming. I'm going to change it up a little bit from what uh, Colonel Gottrich normally tells you all. As many of you know, this year marks 70 years of continuous training here at East Coast Air Force Base. Before the Air Force was even a separate service back in June 1941, Keesler Army Airfield was activated to support World War II training. Back then, it provided basic and technical training to Army recruits. Its training mission was very different, providing airplane and engine mechanics training. Tuskegee Airmen even trained to produce their own space. Following the end of World War II and early 1949, then Air Training Command, the site of Keesler should focus its efforts on teaching radar, radio, electronic maintenance, and repair. In November 1949, Keesler became known as the Electronics Training Center of the Air Force. 2011 marks the 70th anniversary of Keesler's proud heritage. Technology has changed drastically since those early days, and Keesler has tried strived to stay at the forefront, providing cutting-edge training. You're in the largest 3D career field, and at this point, you've probably seen more different types of equipment than people you'll be working for. Keesler has graduated over 2.3 million students, and today, you're going to join that legacy. Thank you, Major Blackington. Class, Award of the three skill level is the first step to attaining technical proficiency. As RF Transmission Systems apprentices, you are entrusted to effectively utilize the resources given to you to accomplish your duties. <clears throat> to strive to be proficient at your duties as well as to represent the military positively in the civilian community. To actively pursue the highest level of knowledge both on and off duty. To never forget the accomplishments of the other airmen who have come before you. To approach all situations with an open mind. To develop a military lifestyle that instills patriotism in everyone you come in contact with. And fulfilling these specific charges, airmen will ensure their integrity, loyalty, and devotion to duty remain above reproach at all times. Classes 11005 and 11006. Do you accept these charges? Yes, sir. At this time, we will now graduate both classes. Major Blackington, will you please come forward to confer the certificates? Ladies and gentlemen, a long standing tradition dictates that each apprentice's badge will be ceremoniously pinned on by family members 
or by members who have worn or are wearing the skill level. From class 11005, Airman First Class Yakov Evan. Airman First Class Evan is PCSing to Robbins Air Force Base, Georgia. to Tinker Air Force Base, Oklahoma. Kidman is PCSing to Tinker Air Force Base, Oklahoma. <laughs> to Beale Air Force Base, California. PCSing to Robbins Air Force Base, Georgia. PCSing to Hickam Air Force Base, Hawaii. PCSing to Otis Air National Guard Base, Massachusetts. Thank <laughs> you. 